We're all connected to the oceans, no matter where we live in Canada. Oceans sustain us. They give us food, clean air, and medicine. They also give us jobs, generating $39 billion in economic benefits in Canada every year. But pollution, climate change, overfishing, and other human impacts are threatening the health of our oceans. Our nation's capital is connected to the ocean directly by the Ottawa River. Canadians have a major stake in the world's ocean's resources and keeping them healthy requires both innovative ideas and collaborative action. So WWF Canada and Impact Hub Ottawa partnered to create Ottawa Wavemakers, a new microgrant that funds creative projects that raise awareness about Canada's oceans in our capital. We received an amazing number of entries from the social innovation and creative community here in Ottawa. Each one of the projects selected engages and connects our community with the oceans in its own unique way. Here are just a few. So I imagined Oli when he was 10. It's my first novel. It's about a boy from Ottawa and when he goes on vacation with his parents to Halifax, he sneaks on board what he hopes is going to end up being a pirate ship but winds up being a Canadian Coast Guard research vessel. I've had the opportunity to connect with the oceans and I really hope that my son, you know, he's growing up in Ottawa and I really want him to have the same opportunity to connect with the oceans and for other children. An Ottawa dance company also created a compelling underwater play on the perils facing our oceans. My name's Kia, I am 15 years old. You know, I was born in BC and that's where I first became really inspired with the ocean. I would used to explore the beach with my family. When I heard about this Wave Makers project, I was like, <laughs> we must do this. Another Wave Maker project created a board game about one of the smallest creatures that lives in the ocean. Well, the point of the game is to try and make points by fishing the ocean. So we have little tiles that sit next to each other, and every time you fish you get points, but you also impact the card that you fish on, and depending on how you fish, if it's sustainable or non-sustainable, you can actually end up impacting the entire ecosystem as well. I think the message really is that even though right now here in Ottawa we're landlocked, choices that we make really impact the ocean and we do have an opportunity to change oceans that are, are hundreds of, or thousands of kilometers away. Another Wavemaker grant winner created a podcast that features some of Ottawa's most creative storytellers. I'm Catherine Brunel from Right Along Radio and I want to welcome you to this very, very, very special episode, Home at Sea. Today's episode is going to play between the awe and the wonder, the magic, the joy, the power, and the fury of the ocean. This is part of us. This isn't something separate from us. The ocean and what it needs, it's not far away. It's right here in our hearts. It's there, it's in their minds, it's relevant, and it's time to do something. A big part of raising awareness is supporting the growing, vibrant network of oceans champions in the nation's capital and throughout Canada. We've started a wave help us keep it and the conversation about the health of our oceans going. And I think with the different projects that have come out of the Ottawa Wave Maker uh, grant, we're all kind of tapping into people in different ways. And I hope that just the momentum will carry on. Ultimately, our goal is to protect nature in an enduring way by building strong links to community and economy so that victories for nature are also victories for people.